Welcome to morning prayer for Wednesday the 27th of July. Um, I'm Arthur Copeman, I'm the Archdeacon of Newcastle and the Rector of a church we call All Saints Anew in New Lambton in Newcastle and it's my privilege as always to lead in prayer which we're going to do from the prayer book and so if you'd like to pause uh, I will lead us in a time of prayer. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A song of God's grace from Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 68, commencing at the first verse and reading through to verse 20. God shall arise and his enemies shall be scattered. Those that hate him shall flee before his face. As smoke is dispersed, so shall they be dispersed as wax melts before a fire. So shall the wicked perish at the presence of God. But the righteous shall be glad and exult before God. They shall rejoice with gladness. O oh, sing to God, sing praises to his name. Glorify him that rode through the deserts, him whose name is the Lord, and exult before him. He is the father of the fatherless. He upholds the cause of the widow, God in his holy dwelling place. He gives the desolate a home to dwell in and brings the prisoners out into prosperity. But rebels must dwell in a barren land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens poured down waters before the God of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel. You showered down a generous rain, O God. You prepared the land of your possession when it was weary. And there your people settled in the place that your goodness, O God, had made ready for the poor. The Lord spoke the word, and great was the company of those that carried the tidings. Kings with their armies are fleeing, are fleeing away. Even the women at home may share in the spoil. And will you sit idly among the sheepfolds? There are images of doves whose wings are covered with silver and their pinions with shining gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, they were like snow falling upon Mount Zalmon. Can the mountain of Bashan be a mountain of God? The mountain of Bashan, that mountain of many peaks. O mountains of many peaks, why look so enviously at the mountain where God is pleased to dwell? where the Lord will remain forever. The chariots of God are twice ten thousand and thousands upon thousands. The Lord came from Sinai into his holy place. When you ascended the heights, you led the enemy captive. You received tribute from the peoples, but rebels shall not dwell in the presence of God. Blessed be the Lord day by day, who bears us as his burden. He is the God of our deliverance. God is to us a God who saves. By God the Lord do we escape death. 
We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the epistle of the Apostle Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, commencing at verse 1. <clears throat> Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Tadeum Laudamus. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Prayer of the week. O God, the protector of all that trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy that with you as our ruler and guide we may so pass through things temporal that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come in prayer, we remember before God the First Nations peoples of our diocese, the Awabakal, the Biripai, the Darkinjung, the Garigal, the Giwagal, the Kamilaroi, the Waramai, and the Wanarua peoples, and pray, Lord, that you would be sustaining them and indeed bringing reconciliation to our land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And our gracious God and Heavenly Father, we 
bring before you our bishops at the Lambeth Conference of Bishops. We pray, Lord, that you would be sustaining them in a period of retreat. I pray for Bishop Peter, for Bishop Sonia, Bishop Charlie, for strength for them, for wisdom for them, and for your grace upon the Lambeth Conference of Bishops. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our diocese uh, while the bishops are away, that you would be giving wisdom to those in leadership, particularly Archdeacon Rod Bauer as the commissary of the diocese in this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We hold before you, Lord, those we know to be unwell at this time and in your need, praying for your healing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray today.